Hey guys, it's me, 80 Squirrel 44. So today, guys, I'm gonna do my final World Cup preview. So this is the final video. I'll be doing the World Cup before the World Cup begins. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching all the World Cup videos. And like I said, guys, it's gonna be very, very exciting. There will be one more video, but it'll be like a match preview for the USA Wales game. I'll drop that on Sunday um, for you guys, maybe early in the midnight, maybe even Saturday as well. But yeah, um, like I said, guys, this will be a final one. So hope you guys do enjoy. And yeah, like I said, without further ado, let's go and get started. So Today, this video is going to basically be talking about the best 11 that um, players I think could perform very well at the World Cup that I think could have a big, big transfer move in the summer after the World Cup. So, you know, like I said, guys, every World Cup, we always have players that overperform and players that overperform get bought by bigger clubs. And I could see these players doing it. So, you know, because I know there's a lot of young players that already are at the big clubs, you know, like the likes of Pedri, Musiela, you know, these kind of players, you know. But I want to talk about players that are at these young players or at not necessarily the biggest clubs in the world that can make that big move. Let's start with the first one. For goalkeeper, we've got Diogo Costa. Diogo Costa, for me, is one of the best under-23 goalkeepers out there in the world. He is an incredible shot stopper. And in my personal opinion, I think it will be Portugal's number one keeper. Um, right now, Rui Patricio has been benched for him. And we've been seeing Diogo Costa has been given the starting nod, especially ahead in those crucial games and the World Cup qualifiers and the playoff games against Turkey and North Macedonia, respectively. And it just feels as though with Diego Costa being this good, I feel like there is a chance that he can make that move outside of Porto. And um, we'll see which clubs go for him because there's a lot of clubs that are really looking for goalkeepers right now. And, you know, etc. Next we have is Tarek Lamptey um, for the right-back position. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he does from Ghana at the World Cup, you know. He's a very quality player for the right-back position. And given how the, there's not a lot of right-backs in the world that are very, very good nowadays, it will be interesting to see any club that really wants to get Tarek Lamptey. Now, I'm hoping that Barcelona keep their tabs very open because I would love to have Tarek Lamptey at Barcelona because we really need a right-back, man. We really, really need a right-back, and I would love to have him at Barcelona. But, um, you know, other clubs as well can ha offer his services as well. And um, Ghana could do well in the World Cup, guys. Ghana could do well. I mean, they just beat Switzerland um several hours ago in a friendly 2-0 so yeah uh, next we have his left back we got Paravis Estupian I think Estupian could be a great player for Ecuador with Ecuador could potentially go on a deep run this World Cup with Senegal let are gonna lose Mane for this World Cup and you know Ecuador could pit them for that second place spot perhaps you know and Ecuador is a very good team a lot of young players and I feel like he's a very good player to have on the team and um I think he's a great left back great quality left back he just made the move from Villarreal to Brighton. And um, I don't think he's going to necessarily move in the next summer. Um, but I do think he could be a player that could make the move in several years from now, potentially. So, yeah. And the next way we've got center back, we've got is Vardio. Very good center back for um, RB Leipzig. Apparently, Chelsea actually were interested in him. Chelsea ultimately didn't go for him because he was too expensive. Um, but, you know, any club that really needs a center back could maybe go for him in the future. He's been very good for RB Leipzig. You know, moved the move from Dynamo Zagreb to Leipzig. And um, given what Croatia can do in this World Cup, I think Croatia is a potential dark horse candidate to maybe do well in this World Cup. I personally think they'll top the group. Check out the World Cup predictions thing in the description below. But I'll, 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 I'll have the link in the description below for the playlist. Um, but yeah, I mean, Croatia, man. Um, Vardio, man. Very, very good center back. Next is Kim Min Jae. I think Kim Min Jae is a very good center back. Um, already showing what he's been capable of doing for Napoli. And I feel like if he can have a really solid World Cup for South Korea... And have some great defensive displays. I think one of the big clubs can go for him. You know, maybe the likes of, you know, maybe like perhaps like Liverpool, maybe Manchester City, United, Chelsea, maybe Arsenal, you know, Spurs maybe. And I feel like he's been a very good, very good center back for Napoli. And it's great to see how crazy he's been. I mean, they like he's been a, such a good player for them that they don't even miss Koulibaly. Like that's how good he's been, man. That's how good he's been. And look out for this guy in the World Cup, man. Look out for him. Next, we have CDM, one of the most underrated players in the CONCACAF region, and for Canada in particular, it is Stefan Estacchio. He is such a crucial player for Canada. He is their midfielder, very, very important player for them, and I think he's a very good player. I mean, he's a good, a holy midfielder for uh, FC Porto, and I feel like um, Porto could do something. You know, for Estacchio, I think he could do something in this World Cup, and he's a very, very good player, very quality player indeed, and very underrated for the Canada, Canada national team. Whenever people talk about Canada, they always talk about Davis and uh, David, but no one really talks about the other players like Buchanan, no one really talks about Lauren, you know, no one really talks about Borja, no one really talks about Estacchio, and these players are very interesting as well, so look out for Estacchio, man, look out for Estacchio. 
Center mid, I got is Jude Bellingham, one of the most, one of the best English young prospects at this World Cup. He's a very, very good player for England. I think this World Cup, Bellingham can finally explode into explosiveness, and we can see what Bellingham is really capable of delivering. He is a quality player in that midfield, can offer you so much creativity and service, and we know what he's been doing at Dortmund. He's been rumored to leave there for several years. A lot of big clubs are already interested in him, like the likes of Liverpool, they're already interested. I believe Real Madrid is interested. Uh, he probably even Bayern Munich is probably interested. You know, there's a lot of top clubs that are interested in him. And um, maybe he'll make that big move in the summer after the World Cup, maybe. Next we have is Daichi Kamaida. I think he's a very underrated player. One of the best um, Asian players right now in the world. And I think he's a very good player. I mean, we've been, what he's been doing for Eintracht Frankfurt won them the Europa League title, the very first one, I believe. And um, he's been a great player. He's been a great player for Japan. And um, I want to see what he can further do, man. He can maybe be that... Um, uh, midfielder that everyone looks for so a very very good player man very good player then we got next as um left wing for um alex vega i think vega is underrated guys vega is very underrated and given how mexico have been very very poor in the attack and there's not a lot of youngsters in the squad look out for this vega guy this vega guy could be very good at this world cup he could be mexico i'm gonna say this right now he might be mexico's best player in this world cup or maybe not best because i do think ocho will be their best but i think he'll be the second best he is such a good player for them. He scored, He made them come from behind against Jamaica, and he just scored against Sweden. He is a very good player for them. And I feel like with this World Cup breakout performance, he could make that big, big move to one of the La Liga teams. I have a feeling he's going to go to Spain. Something just tells me he's going to go to Spain. Next we have, it is um striker. We got this Mbolo. I think Mbolo is a very good striker. It's very, very good for Monaco. And I feel like if he can have a breakout World Cup for Switzerland this World Cup, because Switzerland are going to need him, man. Switzerland are going to need him to advance out of the group. And if Switzerland could go in a deep run, because I honestly think they could. Like, I think, like, them or Serbia have a very good chance to go in a deep run. They could knock out potentially Portugal, maybe even Uruguay. Um, Not, sorry, not Uruguay. Portugal. And then maybe play uh, Denmark or Croatia. Um, And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they can do. So, yeah, I, I really like this um this guy. He's a very good player, man. He was He's good, man. And then right wing, I got Ishmael Asar. With Sadio Mane out for the World Cup, everything is going to come down to him. Ishmael Asar will have to do everything he can to score. He's been one of uh, Senegal's best players, and we know what he's capable of doing. He's a very raw quality player, very young as well. And, um, you know, maybe if he can have a breakout performance without Mane, then it'll be really, really impressive. And it'll, it'll be very incredible if uh, Senegal can advance without Mane, so that the burden is high. So I want you guys to comment down below what players you guys think could make a move from these 11 and also, comment down below if there's any honorable mentions, because there was a lot of honorable mentions. I had Trossard, um, I had even, um, what was it, Nico Williams, you know, Buchanan, Aronson, um, I had Matoma in consideration, Kudos, there's a lot of players I had in consideration, Gonzalo Plata as well. There's a lot of players I had in consideration, but, you know, obviously not everyone can make the cut, you know. So, like I said, I chose 11, and I want you guys to do your 11 in the comments section below. So, if you made it all the way so far... Please comment down below that stuff. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new around here. Though you know this is a place for the World Cup content. Like this video if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.